Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this type of effect in Adobe Photoshop. So let's jump right into it. So first off, we need our images. I usually get mine from pexels.com. This is not sponsored. I just feel like they have a good library of images and videos. So we're just going to write a window and look for an image that could fit well with what we're trying to do. I feel like this image could look pretty cool with that effect that I just showed you that is on my Instagram, by the way. So if you want to check that out, definitely go do that. And we're going to download that. Next up, we're going to find our background images. And uh, I kind of want to keep the same vibe. So we're going to go with flowers. And just download the ones that you like. I'll create my file and I want mine to be 1080 by 1920. That's vertical video size, standard vertical video size. Just import your base image that is going to be the window scene first. Let's go to our downloads and select our window image. Let's center it properly. I don't want to cut the image so we can um, right click and rasterize the layer. Then grab our rectangular marquee tool, which is right over here. Select this part. Hold down shift to add more selections. So add one at the bottom over here. Then I'm going to right click and content aware fill. And that's basically going to rebuild that top and bottom area of the image that we're missing. And it did a pretty good job because the background was pretty simple. So I'm just going to fix it by grabbing the eyedropper tool and clicking on the color right over here. And then with a soft brush, I'm just going to fix up here top. There was like that weird little line and we're good to go. So what we need to do is basically remove all that is uh, behind the image. So the view, we can do that by, um, you can do that with any of your preferred selection tools. I usually just try with the quick selection tool when the edges are pretty sharp, like in this image. So I just clicked on the quick selection tool and then click on the area I wanted to select. And as you can see, it made a pretty good selection. I'm just going to um, click to add more parts to our selection. And it's doing a pretty good job. So once I finished with the selection. I'm just going to click on the layer mask icon. I'm just going to press command I to invert that. And as you can see, we now have our window with no background. We're now going to create a new Photoshop file and it's going to be the other way around. So we want 1920 by 1080. Click on create. And now it's time to edit our backgrounds. Just go to import image place the image we want. Um, for this, I usually go in with the lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool, because it's sort of like collage style. I don't want the selections to be that precise. I just kind of need them and want them to be more straight and not curvy and not precise kind of like a scrapbooky type of a thing. So I'll just make a rough selection and then add a layer mask. And I'll stretch the image out all the way to the end. And save this. This is going to be our first. So flowers one, go ahead with our second image. We're basically going to do the same thing. You can obviously zoom in and do this a little more precisely. I'm just, I'm just doing this pretty quick 
for the sake of the tutorial. Layer mask. So I'm guessing you got the hang of it. I'm just going to go through the other images pretty quickly and then I'm going to get back to you. So we're going to go back to our window file and we're just going to go to window and click on timeline. Now this little window will pop up right over here at the bottom and you have either create video timeline or create frame animation um, options. You're going to go with create video timeline and just click on the button and you'll get a timeline. You guessed it, we're doing this inside Photoshop. Now we can delete this background, we don't really need it, but I'm going to just drag in there a photo of just like a sky. I'll just get the sky from one of the images we downloaded earlier, so this could look cool. And I'm gonna stretch it out to fill the entire page. And obviously we're gonna place it behind the window. And now between our sky layer and our window layer, that's where we're gonna stack up all the other layers. And then we're, we'll worry about the animation later. First off, we're gonna place everything exactly where we want it to be. I'll start off with the mountain layer. And we kind of want it to reach the top. Then I'll go with Maybe these reddish flowers that are almost the same height as the mountain. In some parts they are actually. So I might make the mountain a little bigger. Next up I think I'm going to place the green hill. right about here, and then the two flowers. Once I'm happy with the positioning of all of our layers, it's time to animate them. And it's a super easy thing to do in Photoshop. Many people don't know, but Photoshop's timeline for really simple animation is so good because you can do everything in the same software and with without switching to Premiere Pro or After Effects or so I find it super easy and straightforward and it's very similar to how keyframe animating works. We want our first layer which is this one to go from this all the way to the other opposite side. So what we can do is just click on this little arrow, click on the transform stopwatch, and it works just like in Premiere Pro or in After Effects. So you go to the end of your timeline. I'm gonna press Command T and just drag it all the way to the other side. And that's literally it. We have a moving layer. And we're going to do that with the other layers as well, but each layer is going to go on the opposite side. So our yellow flowers is going from, from left to right, which means these purple ones must go from right to left. We're going to click on the stopwatch on the transform, go to the end, command T, just drag it all the way over to the other side and we're going to keep going. And now if we play it back, it's working pretty well. To export, all you have to do is click on this little arrow here on the bottom. Otherwise, you can also go to File, Export, Render Video. We're going to name it. You can choose where you want to save it. Preset, I usually go with high quality. 
And for size, make sure you're set on document size and you can check that that's correct by looking over here. Frame rate 30 FPS and everything looks good. Just click on render. And since it's all about simple animation, it's not even gonna take that long to render your video out. So let's play it back. And that's how I made it. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial, what you think about the Photoshop timeline. I'm so passionate about it. As you guys can recently see, I've really gotten into animating posters into Photoshop directly. So again, let me know if you liked this video. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm posting, I'm trying to post um, weekly on here, so probably every Sunday you'll see a video coming up. And I still post daily designs on Instagram and almost daily tutorials or reels or short videos uh, on there too. So definitely go check that out if it's something you're interested in. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!